Today's video is going to be about a short review of my 4052R right there. Um, there's been a lot of reviews on the 4052R, but I figured I'd give my own, so let's get into it. So I ended up purchasing the tractor loader Baco. The Baco is currently uh, in my carport. Uh, so I've got the 440R loader with the heavy duty 73 inch bucket in the front. The 4052R right there. And right now I'm rocking the Frontier BB2184 box blade. Purchased the uh, 40 to 5 Baco, which we'll review at a later date as well as the MX-6 uh, rotary cutter, which I'll uh, probably review sometime in the spring. So the BP-2184 is a really great addition. Um, if anything, it's great ballast. Um, but I've used it to be able to grade my road, and I've actually fixed my driveway here at home. It comes with some stratifiers. Uh, it's got a set of uh, uh, seven of them. Uh, they go at different depths. You can adjust the depth uh, by removing this pin and just bringing them down. Right now it's at the uh, shallowest depth that it can do. Um, but, um, you know, if you really want to dig deep and, and, and try and, uh, and grade something, you might want to... You, uh, I was grading sand, so I didn't need to uh, go too deep. But let's say you're doing gravel or something like that, and it's hard packed, you might want to dive them in deeper to uh, move, that, move that soil. Yeah, quite happy with this unit. It's uh, it's already seen a little bit of uh, a little bit of work there, but uh, that's why I bought some JD Green paint to fix things up when I need to. I ended up buying the uh, iMatch system uh, for the tractor. Uh, right now, only the box blade and my uh, brush cutter um, will use the iMatch. The Wallenstein skidding plate uh, requires uh, that the those pins there, the, the draft legs come out quite a bit uh, wider and uh, where the eye match meets up with the pins is not compatible, unfortunately. Um, but I might be able to uh, get uh, somebody to help me weld uh, a system on the Wallenstein skinning plate in order to, to make that work. But the nice thing about the eye match is that uh, you don't have to mess around with, uh, with pins or whatever in the cold. Basically, you lift those two levers up and then you lower your three point and then the, the implement will just drop down. Then you could just back up to another implement and uh, hook it up. Uh, just put those levers back down. Or you, if you have them down, it'll automatically uh, trigger the mechanism there. And, uh, and then you're, you're good to go. One of the cool features of the R-Series tractors is the hitch assist here. So basically the idea is when the tractor is running, there's a specific switch that you flip. Uh, you put the parking brake on and you have the tractor in uh, your A gear if it's hydrostatic. And then you hold down this button and then you press this button and it'll slowly back the tractor up. Or you hold down this button and press this button and it'll move the tractor forward. Another cool feature with the R-Series tractors is uh, the ability to bring your three-point implement down or up using this knob. So right now the tractor is off, but if I press down and turn this knob, you'll see the, the box blade come down. Now if the tractor was on and I went the other way, the, the, the three-point hitch would come up, which is super handy, especially when you're uh, skidding trees and you want to tie up some chain. Uh, you want to be on the back to uh, lower that and then raise it back up and make sure everything's good to go. So one of the things that I bought with the tractor was a backhoe and because of that, it, the tractor comes with the Power Beyond kit. So the Power Beyond kit uh, is what uh, allows the hydraulics on the backhoe to function. And basically, uh, this is just a return. So you'd undo this quick connect, you'd cap it off, and then you plug in uh, one of the backhoe hydraulic lines into there. 
and then you plug in the other hydraulic line into there and then your backhoe is good to go. One of the big things that I really wanted with my tractor was the, uh, the air ride seat. Uh, it comes with a really good uh, deluxe seat uh, to start off with, but the air ride seat is pretty, pretty awesome, especially when I'm bouncing around uh, the, my, my roads, which are rough. Uh, it really saves my back. That's the 440R, lo or, yeah, 440R loader. Um, what can I say, man? This thing has been really awesome. I've moved many, many, many yards of material the other day with ease. Um, the nice thing about this loader is it completely comes off the tractor. Basically, you, you curl the bucket, you lift the wheels off. There's two clamps. You undo the clamps on both sides. I don't know if you can't really see on that side. Once that's done, you lower the tractor back down and these legs will come down and, and park themselves. Um, I haven't done it yet, uh, but I will be doing it uh, uh, soon when, whenever um, I get to doing some maintenance inside of there, which is, which I'm already at 42 hours. So I imagine that won't be very long by the time that I need to sort of get in there. So, there's the, uh, the the stick control stick for the for the loader. Um, one cool thing is it's not drive by wire on this uh, uh, or control by wire on this unit here. This is direct to valve. I'm not sure if it's like that for all uh, four series tractors, but it definitely is for this tractor. Um, I also added the third function here. Uh, this allows me to control my grapple. Uh, so this is an electronically controlled valve, so it's it's really just on or off. Um, but basically, I've got a couple of lines that run down the side of the loader here into these quick connects. And then I basically plug in my loader, or not my loader, uh, my grapple into that. Uh, so it allows me for a, a third function uh, to open and close the, uh, the, 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 the teeth or the fingers, I guess you'd call that. On the grapples. Another cool feature with uh, with the third function and the uh, I think it's the fifth SCV. Uh, so this is the third function here, but I could have continuous flow. So if I flick the switch, and I've got an implement like uh, a, a, a broom, uh, something like that, that will uh, make sure that 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 broom uh, head keeps turning. Uh, and this is the same for the fifth SCV in the back of the tractor. I could press this and uh, that will create a continuous flow uh, in the back of the tractor, which is super cool for, I, I'm, no, I'm not sure which implement uh, that would be, but probably maybe a broom again on the back or uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of continuous flow implements would be for the back, but that's what that's for. Fourth and fifth SCVs are controlled by these two levers. Uh, I learned something interesting is that uh, the fourth SCV actually has a float mode. So if you lower this lever past, uh, just like the joystick here, if I lower the lever past, that's a float mode there. So the, 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 the loader will just sort of float along the surface. Then if you yank it back, and the same with this one, if you sort of click it out, then it's uh, no longer in float mode, which is super cool. Super important thing when you're buying a tractor is rear ballast. Uh, our equipment made sure that my tires were filled and I forget the material. I'll try and find out and I'll leave it in the comments. Um, but both my, my rear tires are, are, are loaded. Um, so I've got an extra 680 pounds in the back of the tractor uh, in order to, to provide some rear ballast there. The other th cool thing that it does is that uh, it reduces a lot of bounce from the rear of the tractor because they're the, the, the tire is not able to sort of like compress so much because it's full of liquid. Technically, air is a liquid. Uh, but unlike the actual uh, different liquid that's in the tires, air is more compressible than, 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 a, than water or the whatever liquid that they put in the tire. So that's why there's no spots. The rollover protection system is really cool. I got really lucky that I could lower it this much because otherwise it wouldn't fit in my carport. Um, but basically, let's say I'm gonna go and actually uh, do some work. I just lift it up, put the both pins in, and then uh, we're good to go. 
The seating position on the tractor is like super comfy. Um, I, you, it's very comfortable to operate. Uh, I'm pretty happy. Everything is just like right there. You know what I mean? Um, I, I really enjoy my tractor. Um, one of the cool things, I'm not sure if this comes on other tractors, but uh, you got a tilt, it's sort of like a, a tilting steering wheel there, which is pretty cool. Of course, your throttle, which is which is normal. Um, uh, here's your 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 switch for your lights. Uh, <laughs> I don't have wipers, but basically this will cycle through uh, all the different displays that I can have over here. Um, this is for your uh, parked regen. If you have a regen, if the tractor wants to do parked regen, you want to ignore it, which I don't recommend. Uh, you can do it by pressing this button here. Of course, if you put your your hazards on, and you press that to say you're turning left, and you press it again to to remove the signal. Same thing for the right hand signal. Tractor comes with uh, with uh, with. The, the the single sided brakes. So let's say that you're losing traction on one side, or you want to you want to you want to quickly uh, affect a turn. Let's say it's a right hand turn. You can press the right side. Let's say it's a left hand turn. You can press the left side. Um, but I I mostly when I'm not using them for that function, uh, I leave them locked in so that it's just you know it doesn't matter which one you press. It'll it'll uh, activate brakes on both of the rear wheels really interesting on the R versions of tractors. Uh, this tractor comes with uh, speed match. So basically with that enabled, uh, the more that I've got this pedal pressed down, the faster I'll go. Um, and it'll automatically rev up the engine to uh, meet the demand. This is load match. So this will prevent the tractor from stalling uh, when it's under uh, heavy load. Um, I pretty much run with these two guys uh, on all the time. Um, uh, this is just, you know, precautionary. Let's say uh, I'm pushing a tractor a little more than it could take. This is to make sure I don't, I, go, I don't get into a stall, uh, which is super bad, I'm told, for, for any tractor. Um, this is pretty neat. Uh, this is a speed match. Uh, not speed match. Um, it's like a, a governor of sorts. So if I'm, if I'm in my, uh, my, my middle working gear and uh, I only want to roll around at like five mile an hour I could press this button uh, and then click set and then uh, the tractor no matter how hard I press on this pedal will not go faster than the set speed which is really useful especially if uh, if you're doing loader work all day long and uh, you want to make sure that uh, you're not you're not uh, all jerky and stuff uh, this is uh, cruise control, so it's automotive style cruise control. You press that and you can set it and slow down. Uh, if it's disengaged, you can resume it or speed up. And that would be used if you're uh, doing any kind of field work and you want to maintain uh, uh, the same speed all the time. Uh, let's say if you're spreading fertilizer or, um, or uh, spreading seed. Uh, that would definitely uh, be something that you would use there. Maintenance is concerned, like with the loader, uh, you know, all your Zerks are, are well identified. Uh, I think there's 11 uh, in total, uh, so not terrible. And you don't have to, you don't have to um, grease them all the time, only if you're doing a lot of heavy loader work. Uh, my tractor came with a, uh, a block heater. We get pretty extreme temperatures out here, so it's always a good idea to uh, to have that, so I'll be plugging it in uh, in the evenings. Uh, I ended up getting the heavy duty brush guard. I think it comes with the uh, R series. Um, uh, you know, this is just a uh, food for uh, you know peace of mind here, uh, especially when I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm stacking my trees in my log pile. If one should come down, that would definitely help protect the tractor. Um, everything is sort of self-explanatory. There's my, my uh, front axle uh, uh, oil uh, dipstick, so I could check. Fuel filter. I didn't know what this was, so I asked the dealer what that was, and they told me that if there's any sort of water accumulation, this will float. If that floats, I need to uh, empty this filter, and then uh, 
and then uh, put it, you know, seal it back. There's all the connectors for my uh, my loader. Um, engine oil is a little hard to get to when you have the loader installed, but the dipstick's right there, so you could check your engine oil right there. Um, so that's not too too difficult. Um, and then your filter is just right there to change. And then underneath the tractor, you've got, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but you got your plug there. You just uh, take it out and then uh, go on and do your oil change. As far as the hydrostatic oil, um, you got your dipstick in the back here. So you can, you can do your checks there. And then if you want to refill, you just refill it right from there, which is super basic. So to open the hood, you basically just take your key, you come down here, you press on this, and you can lift the hood and take a look at what's inside. So because this is an open station tractor, the battery is uh, in the front uh, down there because I don't have uh, a condenser for the air conditioning unit or anything like that. Normally, I think on the cab tractors, the battery is down here. Um, but uh, yeah, the battery's down there and it looks like it's easy to get to. Um, maybe I'll eat those words <laughs> if I have to change it someday. Here we got our, uh, our tier four uh, DPF, a diesel particulate filter. Uh, I did a park to regen the other day. It took about 25 minutes, 30, 30 minutes and uh, super easy. Uh, this is your uh, air intake filter. There's two filters in here actually. When you undo this, you do the clamp, there's a main outer filter and then an emergency filter inside. Uh, so whenever you change this, make sure that uh, you've got both filters uh, on hand um, in order to, uh, to make that swap. All in all, I'm very, very happy with my tractor. Uh, I think I bought the perfect tractor for me. Um, a lot of people wanted me to get a, a cab tractor. Uh, but with the kind of work that I'm doing outdoors, I think the cab uh, would have been, I, I, I might have damaged it. Um, and there's a 66 horsepower tractor out there, but I think 52 horsepower is going to be perfect for my 20 acre property here. Um, I really have uh, no no regrets at all. Thanks for listening to my uh, short review on the John Deere 4052R and the 440R uh, loader. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, uh, you know, write to me below and I'll answer as best as I can. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to uh, click the little notification bell. And that's really going to help me out. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this was helpful to s some people out there. And uh, I still have a couple of reviews, uh, one for my uh, backhoe and one for the uh, brush cutter. And those will be uh, uh, coming probably in the spring. So everybody take it easy and we'll talk to you all later. Yep. Mm -hmm.